Hi, welcome to my uh, keyboard shortcuts. In this video, I'll be showing you all the keyboard shortcuts you ever want to know for Maya, and there are gonna be a lot of them. So, of course, don't memorize all of them. So, just memorize or write down the most useful ones for you, for yourself, and then um, use it. Okay. And since the keyboard shortcuts are everywhere for the viewport, the uh, toolbars up here, channel box, and the timeline. Instead for me to jump around from one place to the other, uh, what I'm going to do is um, first I'm going to show you the, all the keyboard shortcuts for up here, this whole area. Next will be the uh, toolbars, then the uh, viewport, and then after that I'll show you the, key, uh, the hot keys or keyboard shortcuts, which mean the same thing. Hot keys for the channel box, channel box right here, and last will be the timeline down here. Okay, okay, um, okay. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing is um, you already know the basics one, which is Control N, which is right here to create a new file. Control O to open the file. To con uh, Control S is to save the file. And if you want to quit mine, you press Control Q. And if you press Control R, would be uh, to create a reference. Okay. So next would be uh, I'm going to go over here. Let's start with animation. Okay, um, let's start with the F, F key. F1 would be to go into the, open the help manual. So if I press F1, it will go to Autodesk website. Okay, here's the manual. Okay, um, Autodesk decided to put the manual online so that they can update at any time. Uh, that's a good thing. The bad thing is uh, if your internet is down or you don't have internet, you can't access uh, the help menu. And also if you click on search right here, if you have slow internet, then uh, it can take a while to load. Uh, that's the only bad thing. And also the bad thing is, um, or well the good thing is, if it's not installed on your computer, you save hard disk space. Okay, let me close this one. Next will be, uh, if I press F2, it would, it would go into the animation mode right here. F3, press F3, it would switch over to modeling, uh, polygon mode, or modeling. F4 will be for the nerves. F5 for the dynamics and F6 before rendering. Now F7 does nothing. If you press F7, does nothing. Okay. There's also end dynamics and customize, so you cannot. Um, you there are no keyboard shortcuts in unless you create them yourself. Okay. Uh, F8 will be the switch between component mode and object mode. If I press F8, okay, right there. And switch between this icon and this icon like that. Okay, now F9 on the keyboard would you would be to go into vertex mode right here, vertex like. And then F10 would be to go into edge mode. But since I'm using the recording recording software, I can press F9, 10 because that would stop the recording. So, and then F11 would be um, the face mode, and then F12 would be the uh, UV uh, icon right here. Okay, so now um, the next thing would be uh, or another way if you want to switch between these between these uh, main uh, modes, what you can do is you hold down the H as in uh, Henry or Hollywood H key, left mouse. Okay, let me see. See if you either you select the object best thing is get out into uh, object mode. Okay, you can deselect it or deselect it. Hold down the H. And left mouse, hold on left mouse. Now you can you can choose rendering, faces, polygon, animation, um, whichever mode I want. Okay, the H key and the left mouse. That will be switched between these two. Okay. Uh, I like the H key much more because uh, the way I don't have to memorize is the F2, F3, F4, F5, whatever. So H will be will be faster. Okay. Okay, next will be um, these icons up here. Okay, let's say I select the object. Hit W to go into Move Tool. Okay, now if I, I can press this icon or hold on the X key, that which will be to snap the grid. And I move the center part of the X of the three axes. Now I'm snapping to the grid. X and left mouse drag. Okay. If, um, let's say I have... Um, a curve I'm going to go up here and create an EP curve I click and drag hit enter now if I want to snap 
this sphere onto here what I do is I move it over right over the uh, the curve press 4 on your keyboard to go into wireframe when it's right over the curve you press hold down the C button and now with the left mouse just click and drag along the edge Okay, you can also hold down the middle mouse click and drag so now it's now up to the curve C and left mouse drag right above over the curve that will be same as right here if I let go of the C it's disabled hold down C it's enabled next one would be I can set the curve right click and choose control vertex if I want to snap this sphere onto this one right here ok let me create another another object press 5 if select this object if I want to snap to this vertex right here I can hold down V as in Victor and move my left mouse over the icon I mean over the object press 4 on your keyboard so you can see better um, that would be this icon right here so V and left mouse drag okay so okay next would be uh, there are no icons for these guys for rendering but you can create yourself I will show you how to create your own uh, keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys for these uh, for these icons later on okay next would be um, right here the shelf if I go into the custom uh, shelf okay anytime when if you want to create your own um, uh, icons for here in the under the shelf custom uh, shelf so what you do is you hold on control shift for example let's say I want to delete the history I go hold on control shift go into edit delete by type history and so now it creates an icon you let go of the mouse and it will um, create it okay what's delete history um, sometimes when you create Maya Maya remember all the history so it's best to clean them up so that uh, your file is going to be uh, much lighter and also uh, Maya doesn't crash um, if you get delete the history okay so I'll move over so another let's say one to create another icon again I can go into any of the modes let's say polygon hold on control shift and click on edit mesh let's say extrude and then once you click it, it's right here. Okay, don't you don't need to press it twice if you don't see it. It's actually there. And if I want to delete the uh, icons, I hold down the middle mouse over the icon and drag it over to the trash can and you let go. Now it's deleted. Okay. If you want to create your own uh, custom shelf, you go over here. You create go click on create a new shelf. You give a name. Let's say my shelf. Remember, remember that Maya doesn't like um, spaces, so if you want spaces, make sure you do underscore. Okay, so don't put spaces. Hit OK, and so it's now you have your own shelf here. And you can always delete the shelf. Okay, either select the shelf that you want and choose from here and delete the shelf. And say OK. It asks you want to delete my shelf. Say OK. Now it's gone. Okay. Okay, next will be uh, the toolbars uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, to click this one, just press the Q as in Queen. Okay, Q. Okay, and then if you uh, double click on it, you know that you open up the tool settings. Okay, so another way would be uh, if I want to, uh, if with, with the selection tool selected, if I hold on Q and left click on it, I get a different menu right here. Okay, so to go back, you click on this one. Okay, so Q like that. So here's the lasso tool, which is the same thing as right here. Q left mouse. I can uh, choose reflection like that. And then Q left mouse. Again, I can choose pin select, which is the same thing as right here. Okay. Now another way would be um, with the sec you can hold down Alt Q. You get the vertex, UVs, faces, and edge mode, which is the same thing as. Um, uh, the F8, F9, F10 right here. Okay, so Alt Q, left click on it, and Alt Q, uh, left click. You get these faces. Okay. Next will be um, another thing is with the Q selected, you can hold hold down Shift Q and left click on it. Again, you get more choices like that. So here you are. You have 
these choices would be for uh, if you use a nub like that okay and then um, if you hold down sh uh, shift right click you can uh, you go into polygon edit mode like that so you can do all kinds of stuff if you hold down control right here uh, let me exit that one control right click you get that control shift okay now Q left mouse you get this which is the same thing as if I hold on control shift right click it's the same thing I get the lasso tool so I can lasso it if I right click and choose fade vertex okay I get vertex I can Q left mouse lasso or control shift right mouse which is the same thing okay oh another thing is sometimes you get a different menu of okay, depending on what you choose for example Q left mouse if I choose lasso I get that, but if I hold on Control Shift, right click, you see how the, the, the menus are different. Here it's component selection, uh, reflection, um, draw style select. Okay, now if I hold on Q left mouse, and this time I choose paint select, but instead of painting anything, I hold on Control Shift, right click. Again, now here's a, I have totally different menus from before. Okay, so Q left mouse, if I choose lasso, I get a different menu than if I pick uh, pin select. Okay. So review is Q left mouse, if I pick lasso, even though I don't paint anything, if I hold on control shift, right click, I get this mode. And now let's go back to Q left mouse, and I choose uh, pin select. Again, I don't paint anything, control shift. Right click, I get the totally different menu. Okay. Okay. Remember that there are three types of uh, way you can do it. If I hold on Shift, right click, I get this menu. Create polygon tool, poly disk, etc. If I hold, hold on Control, Control Shift, right click, I get this menu. And then if I have uh, some CV selected, Control right click, I get this. Okay. So again, Shift right click with uh, comp uh, CVs or faces selected, shift right click I get merge vertices, control right click I get a different menu, and then control, sh uh, control shift right click I get a totally different menu okay. another thing is if you right click over any empty space you get the complete tool or set all okay. I want to set only, uh, let me go into object mode Again, shift right click, you get one menu. So, seeing how the menus are different, because now I'm in the object mode. If I right click, shift right click, I get merge. Okay, so if I right click and choose vertex, select them, and then shift right click, now it's a totally different menu than before. So, if let's say go on face, shift right click, which is the uh, same thing as the vertices, but however, if I Go into object mode and now I select the object, shift right click, I get a different menu. Okay. Uh, I know there are so many different ways to do it, okay? So Okay, I'm going out of time so I will continue in the part uh, two of uh keyboard shortcuts for Maya. So thank you for watching.